I have Trev Gibb in the studio. Hello. Oh, where's your microphone? Am I on? Trev Gibb's going to sing a little song for us right now. Oh, I'm really excited. Which song is this, Trev? Uh, this is uh, Can't Stop Thinking of You. Take it away. A very uh, slow, decided turnaround there. I think you expect no faces to be something different. <laughs> no, honestly, that was amazing, Trev. So that song, Can't Stop Thinking of You, that you sent over there, that was recorded with Generator? Uh, yes. I mean, I originally did it with a band that I was in called Deerheart. Then we did like a big band version yeah. of it, so like drums and guitars and stuff, um, like with this like mega ending on it. And then I redid it with Generator. So um, I was in the studio at uh, Blast with like. Uh, Azure Mall and Martin from, from the Lake Boats was there and we were all sort of doing stuff and um, this guy Dan was playing piano on it and that all happened sort of like um, very last minute we hadn't like rehearsed anything I'd rehearsed mm-hmm. a little bit of something with the violin player Patrick yeah uh, and but it came together really nice so yeah, yeah had, the like, violin was a that, nice addition it was really, really sweet yeah so you've been recording recently yeah so I'm, I'm like working on an EP uh, 
Um, Do you have, has it got a name yet? No. Nope. No. And, and I can't decide whether it's going to go under the under the name Trev Gibb or whether to ditch it and be Dear Heart. The Dear Heart. Because Dear Heart's probably more like, I don't know, it's sort of suggestive, like Trev Gibb. You know? There's so nothing that's wrong with Well, actually, yeah. if you want a new name, like yeah. me yeah. and Melissa have started calling you Lovely Gibb. Oh, well, there we go. Then, it's right. been like a running thing for probably the last three shows, so oh, right. um, you, you're welcome to take that Lovely if you Gibb, want. That's, it. that's the name of the EP then. But um, yeah, it's going great. Um, we did like three songs that we pretty much got down uh one called not meant to be um another one called skinny arms and then another one called stay with you tonight which we got pedal steel guitar on and it sounds Ooh. really good so it's exciting it's probably going to take a few more months to get everything together <laughs> how do you um, how do you come up with all your music then is it um different a day heart then is this just or was it with your songs and they kind of yeah, added it's, yeah that's the thing i think it would, all of them have been sort of my songs. We never got to a point as a band where we like collaborated properly. Mm -hmm. I mean, the parts were all theirs, really. You know? But yeah, I just sort of everything that I do is just like little guitar phrases and things, and then yeah. I stitch them together and find like the right lyrics and stuff like that. So where do you get your lyrics from? Are yeah. you a reader? Are you a film watcher? Bit of, yeah, a bit of both. Sometimes it'll be like you know lines from books or. Or, you know, I mean, not to say that I don't write my own words, you know, I do, but like sometimes... As inspiration. Like, yeah, like just like films and stuff like that. So books and films, definitely. Um, I've got one called I'll Be Singer, which just basically came from watching loads of Woody Allen films. So <laughs> I'd like to hear that one. Yeah. <laughs> when did you start uh, getting involved in music, Trev? Um, I've been doing this for years, um, but sort of more properly from about 2005. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I did this gig in 2008 with Les Cox Sportives, oh, yeah. who are excellent. And um, that thing started to happen a little bit more for us then, because Dave Brewis was at that gig. So I did some recording with him. Mm -hmm. And we basically got an album's worth of material, <laughs> but we never like sort of got anything concrete with it. But So I did like a, an album with Dave and then um, formed Deerheart as a, as a way of sort of um, taking the album and yeah, doing peaking. something with it. Yeah. But yeah. What's the recording? Because if you're recording at the minute, mm -hmm. what do you what do you enjoy about it? Uh, just seeing what magic happens in the studio. Cause what I magic happens? Yeah, because I, I don't really sort of come from a like a, a pre arrangement thing where you have like a ready arranged song, and mm -hmm. because the ones I'm recording are all new songs, then although I've got an idea of what I want, it's coming together like just there and then. They haven't been sort of arranged before. So, so is it kind of different with? Obviously, you said you recorded with Dave Bruce, so is it different recording with Mickey Well, Bruce, a lot like of stuff happened in the studio with Dave as well. Um, but, like, obviously, Dave being, like, super genius, and um, <laughs> he'd, he'd, he'd written some bits and pieces. I mean, we did one called They Don't Deliver, and, like, the piano parts were me, mm -hmm. but he had to splice it together to get it right. <laughs> so I was, you know, a couple of bits and Perfectionist. Bits. Yeah, but, it, uh, you know, it sounds class for it. Um, but he came up with this piano piece on um, Queen Has Nail on Strings, which is lush. Mm -hmm. Um, Lovely song. Yeah, and it, so like that was excellent. But we sort of how we did that is he just had like sort of an idea of what he was going to play on the drums. I think he'd written notation for the drums, and then the bass. So we did all of that live, and then we sort of went in and had dubbing sessions. It was probably the most exciting time I've ever had in the studio. But recently it was great as well. So well, just, you know, it's cool. On that note, I'm going to play a song by Dave Bruce, School of Perfect Language. Um, yep, I'm going to play yeah. a pool boy for you, and then we'll come back a little bit, give oh. Trev a bit of a break, and then we'll get him singing again. Hey. That's Symphonic Pictures there with Backwoods. That's another request by Trev Gibb. Hey, hey he's still here. <laughs> um, you can play another song for us yes. now, uh -huh. and this is a new one. Pretty much hot off the press, kind of. Um, been around for a little bit, but I just recorded it a couple of weeks ago with Mick Ross in uh, Blast, um, and it had uh, Azure Mall playing piano on it and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and do it justice because they made it sound amazing. It's called Not Meant to Be. <laughs> What we come to 
I forgot the last verse, and that guitar is so out of tune, so... <laughs> Trev, man, Never it's mind. a new song, nobody no. knows, <laughs> it should get quiet. <laughs> oh, it was amazing, thank you, thank you very much. Um, who, Trev, if you had to be another musician, mm-hmm. who would you be? Oh. Like, this is me Freaky Friday's question, okay. if you could swap with any musician, living or dead. That, that, that okay. Um, <laughs> In terms of like people I really love, like as players or, or musicians, well, um, I love Mark Kozalek, who yes. like Red House Pain, yeah, so, amazing, you know, some Kill Moon, Moon. Uh, really love him. Um, other than like so that, because that's sort of like the, the type of like music that I love like to play. But mm-hmm. To know. Um, what about lifestyle? <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> What do you mean, rock and roll? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to pick anyone. Just <laughs> uh, I don't know. I like a quiet life. If that's what you mean, my lifestyle. <laughs> Bit of crazy. I'm, I picked then. Prince for mine. If that's oh, like, because okay. like he's just an absolute genius, and I think it'd just and be a little, a little bit weird. Yeah, and it's not weird. In everyday lunatic. life, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> like everything on Dirty Mind is like. Yes, <laughs> it's, yeah. pretty, it's pretty weird. <laughs> hmm. Um, Trev, where can we find your music? Where can I direct people? Bandcamp. Um, Bandcamp. Trev Gibb debut album dot bandcamp dot com. There's I'll put a link to that on the there. Twitter and the Facebook as well, yeah. everybody. Go and check yeah. them out. Have you got a Facebook and a Twitter as yes. well? Yes, uh, I'm on Facebook. Um, just if you search up Trev Gibb, the one with some guy playing a banjo. That's, that's, that's my Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> do. And um, what else? I'm on Twitter. So ask Trev Gibb. If anyone wants to. Yep, everyone go, scream, and scream abuse and stuff. go and follow him and then you'll yeah. be able to find out when his new yeah, tracks come out. when the tracks are going to happen, yeah, yeah. And I know you haven't got any gigs lined up, mm-hmm. but I want to talk to you a little bit about gigs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's been your favourite gig that you've done? Oh. Right, well, recently, probably a gig at the Mining Institute. That um, Good venue. is way up there. It was excellent in every possible way. And is that the one with? That was with Tessera Skies, Ajamal, um, Lake Poets and me. 
and it was just great because we we'd all sort of been together in the studio before mm-hmm. recording stuff all together, and then sort of brought that to to the uh, mining institute, and it was just a lovely night. There was a piano that had been <coughs> tuned especially for the, the night and stuff. So this, there was this crazy piano tuner guy who turned up and just like had the craziest banter ever. He just beat the match and he was drunk tuning the piano. So that was it was a, a crazy, Interesting. wonderful night. So, what's yeah. what's the weirdest thing that's happened to you at a gig? Gigs? Or the most notable? Oh, dear me. I, I honestly don't know. I can't think of anything. Uh, probably just like when I get insane nerves. And just ruin everything by being completely <laughs> better I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, you'd be surprised at how many were like, you know, so nervous about playing. So. I think uh, what Trev was just talking earlier on about um, working on um, was it the garage? Is it called the garage? Garage sessions. Yeah, um, yeah. That I was nervous when I did that. It was great. That's something that's done in South Shields, I South think, Shields, where yeah, um, uh, they record it the like a little. It's like a. Um, put it on YouTube as well, mm-hmm. so uh, Trev was saying that he didn't get nervous until he realised there, there was a camera in a small room and everyone looked... <laughs> questions, I was gone. Uh, but it was because I knew I was being filmed as well. So you're not being filmed now, though, yeah. you are, right? <laughs> Let's have a get you some dark glasses or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your major influences? I know you mentioned Mark Kozilek. Mm. Well, my major influence doesn't come through the music, which is Dylan. Uh, he's my major influence yeah. musically, but you wouldn't... I don't think you would pick that up. Um... Prefab Sprout, uh, Dylan, all the oldies, uh, Joni Mitchell, uh, Leonard Cohen. I, I, I love all the songwriters, but you know, then like flip side of it, I don't know, you know, like love Sonic Youth, love Yola Tango. Mm-hmm. Um, that band I mentioned to you before, um, Wild Nothing, who are relatively like a new band. You know, it's all been done before type music, but I still love them. I yeah. love them. Um, it's that thing, like, off the top of your head, trying to think I know, bands. it's tough, isn't it? And all the bands that I would want to say, I probably haven't said, you know? Um, yeah. you can come back, you can, you can tweet us later on, the, the ones list. you've I'll, forgot. I'll come back to you and I'll revise the list. Um, I'm going to play Ajimal now, yes. a request of yours. This is yeah. This Human Joy. Stay tuned, though, because Trev will be with us after six as well. This is the local music show. The local music show. Trev Gabe, you're going to play another song? Yes, um, this is a brand spanker as well, it's new. I did a little jam of this the other night with a good friend of mine, John Nellist, and uh, he said, oh, you should play it, you should play it. I was like, okay, I hope I get this right. Thank you, Trev. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the new stuff coming out. Mm-hmm. Is that going to be up on your band camp as well? Um, possibly, yeah. Possibly. Hopefully, yes. Definitely. Yes, positively, <laughs> yes, it yeah. will. Um, what's that band camp again, just to uh, remind everyone? It is uh, Trev Gibb debut album, dot bandcamp, dot com. And everyone should go and look at that. Um, I'm just going to say goodbye to Trev now. Thank you very much for coming You're in. You're welcome. Bye. See you soon. Mm. Spark.